Hello and good afternoon everyone. Adam here at Kenyon Classic Cars in Clarence, Iowa. And this afternoon I am going to be showing you this beautiful 1967 Dodge Coronet RT. It is finished in poly gold with a red pinstripe on it and it has black interior. It's bucket seats, automatic on the floor. So bucket seats with the console, automatic. This car is absolutely gorgeous. It's been a rotisserie restored car. It is painted body color underneath. We're guessing that the restoration has been probably 10 to 15 years ago. And it still looks like it was restored just last year. It's just that nice. The body and paint look great on this car. The door gaps are nice on the car. The panels are nice. We believe this thing to have all the original body panels on it. The hood gaps are nice. All the panels are very straight, very clean. Just a very, very nice overall condition on this 1967 Dodge Coronet RT. And it is a real Coronet RT. And it does have, I believe it says RS, RS23 on the data plate. Oh, sorry, WS, WS23 says right there on the data plate. So that confirms that it is a real RT. Car has a 440 in it, automatic transmission, 727 torque flight, automatic transmission. Car has some Kreger wheels on it that look period correct for the car. Has raised white letter Goodyear Eagle ST tires on it. The chrome, all the bright work on the car looks great. Very, very clean. Windows, the glass, all in very good shape on the car. This chrome is very good. All your drip rail moldings look great. Wing windows, all the chrome around them is good. That looks nice. Door handles are nice too. They're not all pitted. A lot of times you get these older cars and the, the uh, door handles get pitted. This car is not like that. There's your, uh, your door jams, your sill plates look great. Your jams are very, very nice. Interior is very clean in this car. Seats are very comfortable, they sit great. The carpets looks, looks to be brand new as well. Back seat is very nice. Headliner's great shape. The sail panels look good. Your dome light works. There's your head, your uh, sun visors. They're in good shape as well. Your dash is nice. It does have a padded dash. The dash isn't all cracked up or anything. There's your door panels, Coronet RT. It says right on there. Door panels look nice. There's your doors, your inside of your doors. The bottoms of them look very 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 good see factory seams on those doors your weather strips are good shape a little bit harder than than uh, normal maybe but they're still in good shape they're not torn or anything your dome lights on your console work open the glove box here for you original uh, warranty card there on the glove box We'll shut this door. There we go. Doors open and shut nice. Car's really, really nice under the hood too. Very presentable. Body colored inner fenders, body colored firewall, just like it's supposed to be. Car does have power steering. It retains the original style exhaust manifolds in the car. Um, I'm told this car is a numbers matching drivetrain. I did not verify that yet, but it is Supposed to be a numbers matching drivetrain. I'm not guaranteeing that or representing it like that until I look, but that's what I was told. Super, super nice looking 67 Dodge Coronet RT. You can see underneath, I will post pictures of the underside of this car here just in a little while, but you can see inside the inner fender wells there that it is painted body color and it looks great. All the way around this car is just absolutely gorgeous. You can see how nice the paint is. You look down the sides of it, how nice and straight it is. You can look down here in the bottoms of the doors and the fenders. 
and the quarter panels and you don't see any bubbling, there's no bubbling or blistering that I can see anywhere. It does have one small little, little uh, bubble up in the paint right there. I don't think it's a, it's not a huge deal. You can barely even see it. It's about the size of a, a pencil eraser on the top. If I didn't have it underneath these bright LED lights in here, you probably would never notice, but we're honest. I'd like to tell you everything we know about the cars and everything that I see, you're gonna get told. There's that door jam, your sill plates. Again, they look great. Your driver's side door jam, your door panel. This is a really great car. We'll take a look inside the trunk here. I haven't even opened the trunk up on this car yet, so. There we go. Just like I'd expect it to be. You got your jack there, I don't see. Yep, the spare tire's there too. It's got a red line tire on it with a gold wheel. Nice trunk mat. Very, very nice inside the trunk. Very presentable. The seal, trunk seal's in good shape. It's not ripped or torn. Man, what a nice car. There's your jack instructions. Your uh, numbers on your uh, trunk there. Very, very nice looking car. Just like I'd expect it to be. The trunk inside looks great. <clears throat> Left turn signal. Right turn signal. Bright light, light indicator. It's got a, a tack down there. I think that might be a factory tack. It does have two aftermarket gauges there, a vacuum gauge and an oil pressure gauge. 50 pounds at idle, 75, you rev it up. E-brake seems to hold. Wipers are functionable. I'll get out, we'll walk around the car. I don't know if that radio is working or not. Blower motor works. No blowing there on the bottom. Blowing out the top there. Cigarette lighter works. Those gauges seem to work. I don't know about the fuel gauge. Fuel gauge seems to be over all the way past empty. And it's still running, so I'm gonna say that, venture to say that maybe that fuel gauge is not functioning properly. I'll try to take a look at that um, and see if we can maybe figure out why it's not working. No guarantees, but we'll try. Turn signal, tail lights, license plate lights. Man, just a pretty, pretty color on this car. Don't see a lot of them this color. I really, really like it. It's a great looking car. There's your left front turn signals working as well. We'll try the right side one, just so we can all be on the same page about what works and what doesn't work. That's why I go through almost all these cars with you and show you, honestly, what, we, what we're working with here. Car sounds great. I'm gonna take it for a drive here in a second. We'll open the door, we'll shut the hood, we'll take her for a quick spin down the highway and just show you what we got. Got all the windows down, so might be a little, have a little breeze coming through there, but. Pretty sweet car.
turn that blower motor off there. Shut the headlights off. We don't need those on now. Stop for a power here, quick. Here we go. Shift's good. Feels like she might have a shift kit in it, which that's nice. Speedometer seems to work. It says we're going 50, 50, 52 mile an hour, and that seems about right. The car really goes down the road nice. It drives very well. It is a little windy today too, so. Really a quality car, a good car interior engine drivetrain reliability seems to be really good on the car I'm gonna come down up come up here to the uh, little roadside park and turn around it's got a lot of pickup the car really runs good signal on here and the signal is working as I showed you in the video. So I'm going to turn our signal on here and turn into the little roadside park. I'll get out quick and show you, give you a little view of the outside of the car uh, out in the daylight. I like to take my videos inside. It's nice, it's quiet, it's clean. Show you everything I know about the car. We'll go through them together. And... <clears throat> there it is. Just as beautiful outside as it is inside. Don't see too many of these cars anymore. Very, very nice car, very quality car. If you're looking for a car, 1967 Dodge Coronet RT, give us a call, Kenyon Classic Cars, Clarence, Iowa. Phone number here is 563-452-2450. Look us on our, check us out on our website, KenyonAuto.com. That's K-I-N-I-O-N, Auto.com. We buy, sell, and trade classic cars, muscle cars, regular vehicles every single day. Give us a call if you want to sell your car. If you're interested in buying any of our cars, give us a call. We're sure we'll be willing to talk to you about any of our cars that we have in stock. We stock 100 plus cars usually, so we always have something for everyone. I'll leave here. Well, I'll, I'll get on it just a little bit.